Hi guys, this is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at Southpaws. Uh, today, I'm just going to review quickly a CT scan that was done on a dog that has a large intrahepatic portosystemic shunt. So the dog is in sternal recumbency, and we can see the heart right here. And then as we head caudally, you've got the aorta here, vena cava is here, and then these are two main stem pulmonary veins. Now, as we head back caudally, we get into the liver down here. That's still aorta up top there. There's vena cava right there. I point with my finger so that it's a little bit bigger. Now, as we head back, watch the vena cava here. And then suddenly, you see this huge blood vessel that's traveling into the vena cava and heads back down and completely bypasses the rest of the liver goes into the portal vein down here. So that's vena cava here, portal vein here. As I head farther cranially again, you can see that very large vessel right there, which is still the portal vein. It's gonna wrap around and go straight into the vena cava right there. So portosystemic shunt, intrahepatic. We've done a intrahepatic or a transjugular coiling for the portosystemic shunt. We actually placed the coils in transabdominally, but we placed the vena cava stent transjugular. Just looking at some more of the normal anatomy here, we have the stomach and you can see the rugal folds right here, aorta still there, vena cava is there, portal veins there. That is the gallbladder down here. Heading down caudally, we are getting into some colon here, portal vein, vena cava, aorta. more colon right here that's the right kidney and then there's the left kidney which is a little bit farther caudal more intestines now this dog also has an interesting finding which is um that it has let's just see here. um it has physitis of the fourth lumbar vertebrae so you can see all of that fluid and bone that's been, so, so there's a bit of fluid out here and then there's new bone formation in the body of L4. And that is, let me just see if I can uh, change the levels here. There we go. So you can see the destruction of L4 right there a little bit better. And that's probably physitis due to the portosystemic shunt. All right, so now I'm gonna do a multi-planar reconstruction. So that's just gonna take a second. All right, so now we can see multiple planes at the same time. So looking on this scan, we can see the vena cava coming right down here. And then as I come out more laterally, I can see the portal vein. So that's, sorry, that's vena cava there. That was aorta there. So that's vena cava, and then you can see the portal vein right there. So that's the portosystemic shunt right there. Now looking at it on the coronal section, right up top here, we can see the vena cava there, and then we can see the portosystemic shunt coming in right there, and you can follow it as we head caudally, and it connects down to the portal uh, vein down there. You can see both kidneys right and left, the vena cava down there in between the two kidneys. Um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, we have done the transvenous coiling of the portosystemic shunt. We did place the coils in transabdominally, but the vena cava stent went in transjugular. So thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you again soon.